so glad you're joining me today for Salvage and Refresh. I can't do art with my usual crew, so just trying something a little bit different. So I ask for your kindness and patience because I'm completely new at this. This is something a little different, hopefully fun, interesting, and maybe even meaningful for you to do in your free time. If you just want to watch a video, you'll want to turn this off because this is for active participation. We are playing, we're not doing carefully planned art. We're just going to kind of go with the flow and see what happens. You can think of it kind of more like stream of conscious. Thought, scratch, sketch, whatever, I don't know, rather than art. No end product in mind. We're just gonna kinda let it, let it, not let it go, let it evolve and see how it goes. Uh, things are, are much different than they were uh, a couple months back. I've been trying to figure out a new normal and um, I think it's easy for me and maybe some of you to feel a bit overwhelmed. Um, with all the suffering and all the difficulty that people are experiencing right now. And um, I find that I need to remember to take moments um, where I'm, I'm doing something to find hope, to find joy and um, freedom where I am. And when it, when it just everything feels heavy. So, Making things and remaking things is something that energizes me and kind of refreshes me. So, um, because most of us are stuck in our homes and we can't get out much, I wanted to just uh, look around and see what we could use and invite you to join me as I do. Let's get to it. Find a book. I have here an old um, Shakespeare book. It's four tragedies in one, so it doesn't really get much better than that. It's been sitting on my shelf for about a decade, um, and probably on a school library shelf for four decades before that. Um, and all it's done is made me look really smart. And the pages are a little bit crunchy because they're kind of old, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use it anyway. So some tips as you look for your book. Um, make sure it's yours, number one. Not the libraries and not um, somebody else's unless they give you the go-ahead. Number two, it won't look the same when you're done. So uh, it may be unrecognizable, it certainly won't be readable. So don't choose a book that you will regret later on. Three, you want to choose a book that has just plain old text kind of a matte finish for the paper that's going to be much easier to use than say a uh, a shiny shiny pages with lots of big colorful pictures and for if you don't have any books on your shelf that meet these criteria you could use uh, an old notebook one that's even been written in or a pamphlet um, or even make your own I suppose with newspaper but I highly recommend using a book if you can because there's something really fun about um, defacing something that's not meant to be altered. So um, go, pause me, take a look on your shelves, and um, bring back your selection. I'll be waiting. So the next text task at hand is to gather a few things that you can write with. Um, and it could be just plain old crayons, it could be pens, pencils, colored pencils, uh, or markers. And markers are great too. Just um, be sure you don't use ones that are um, really heavy that will bleed a lot through the pages. They may bleed a little bit, a little bit's okay, but you don't want the kind of marker that's going to just go all the way through the paper. And after you get those, we'll be ready to get started. Um, anytime you need to press pause to complete a task, go ahead and do that and finish what you're doing. Let's get started. Now, flip through your book and see if there are any pages that you want to keep. 
Um, mine has a couple title pages and um, some sketches in here that I want to leave in. So I'm going to just kind of mark those pages and as we move on I'll, I'll make notes so I don't um, get rid of anything that I want to keep. So um, we're going to rip out some pages. So my book's about 400 pages long. I'll probably rip out around 50 pages kind of randomly instead of all from one section. So uh, you don't need to be particularly neat, just ripping out some pages and I'll set them aside. And getting rid of some pages will allow us to add other things later on. Um, some of them I'm doing right from the binding. I'm grabbing, you know, several pages at once to pull out. And some I may just want kind of half part of the page and leave part of it in too. This is what I've pulled out. I'm not sure how many how many are in there. But from the from the edge of my book, you can see there are some uh, it has a little more breathing room now. Congratulations, you're a delinquent. Um, let's open up to a page and it can be any page. And we will do a little bit of folding. So I'm going to start with the one side and I'm not really going to plan as I fold. I'm just going to make some folds and don't copy me. Just kind of do whatever your hands start doing. Go with that. And that's just fine. So I'm, I'm doing about three folds for this page. And then after you fold the one page, fold the opposite page and it can be like a, a mirror image or completely different, it doesn't matter. And even now, some of my pages are crackling a bit, but that's all right. This one I'm just gonna do two folds for. So as you can see, it's just, they're kind of different. Nothing particularly neat about that. Um, open up to a new spot and do that again somewhere else and 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 do something different Some of my corners are Scraping off There we go And I think this one I'm gonna kind of do upside Upside down To how I did that one One more. And I think this last one I'm going to do symmetrical just um, because I didn't do the other ones in a symmetrical way. Okay. I don't know, this reminds me of one of those uh, fortune times. You can see one of my rips on the other side of this page too. Excellent. And so if you feel like three page spreads of folding wasn't enough for you, feel free to, to do some more. That sound means that it's time for the quote of the day. Open foot, insert mouth. It's meant a lot to me over the years on several different levels. And I hope, I hope she doesn't mind. I hope you don't mind, Agnes. You can feel free to um, jot down that, that quote if you find it meaningful as well.
And if you do write it down, just make sure you give um, credit to Okay, where were we? Ah, yes. Open your book to one of the folded sections. And just hold it open with your hands. And I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. And uh, think of a word. And I'm going to do it too. So I'm closing my eyes. And I'm thinking of a word. Okay, open your eyes. And the first thing that came to mind, whatever it is, I want you to write it across the two-page spread right over your folds. So I think maybe I'll start with a pen. And I'm just going to write here. And um, my pages, like I said, are kind of crunchy, so I have to be careful because I'm tearing them as I write. And it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to go over it with a marker, too. And you can choose a different uh, writing instrument to go over yours again as well. It doesn't matter what the word was. Okay. So... Mine is, um, chicken. <laughs> yours, yours may have been odd too, I don't know. Um, let's add a couple lines, doodles, words, shapes, in a few different colors on this, on this page spread. Um, and the important thing to do is just to make sure you are doing it. Um, don't think about it, don't worry about what it's gonna look like. Um, at the end or think about arrangement or if this is nothing special I just want you to start making marks um, and you can use different implements different some different colors and I want you to kind of cross across the uh, pages so it's um, Everything has at least at least one mark on it. I kind of like doing the marker. That's a little bit easier to, to work with on my um, my old page. So you should be working on your own at this point, not not looking to see necessarily what I'm doing. Sometimes you have to come at things in different directions when you're going over the folds. If you have other words you want to write, go ahead and do other words. Or phrases. Um, let's see. How many have I done? I think I need to do a few more yet. And you don't have to do this quickly. You can take your time more if you want to. Sometimes if I give myself a chance to think about it, then I might get a bit paralyzed and be overthinking and um, instead of actually getting something down. So I mostly did lines on mine and I used a lot of marker. I'll probably end up using mostly marker in this book because of the, the, um, the small the pencil nub kind of rips my pages when it goes to the doors. I think the last thing I'm going to do before we move on is outline a couple of my folds just for, just for fun. So you can do that too, and I probably won't outline everything, but just parts. So the next thing 
that we're gonna do is um, unfold one of these folds and make a few more marks. So I will start with this one. You see it's clear in this spot because nothing has been marked. And I'm gonna add a few more things. All right, and now you can unfold another one of your folds and do some more. You can see some of that marker bled through a little bit. That's not so bad. Right, and now I'm gonna open up another one. Let's do a few more on the other sides of the folds. And so now we've kind of done all different parts of, of these folds. So go ahead and fold it again. And it's kind of fun to see what you have when it's folded. And then as you unfold, kind of the, the shapes of the, of the pages or the colors kind of changes you know. And that's kind of fun. I think on the inside I want to add a little bit more. I wrote a little note for myself, but it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to outline it. There you go. So that's kind of fun. Looks kind of pretty. I'm going to turn this page over too. And you can also see the outline that I made where the fold was, which is interesting. And then if you do it the other way, I also have another, another um, section. So I'm going to leave these like this for now. Um, and feel free to um, go through and do that on some of those other pages that you folded in your book. Fabulous. Thank you for joining me for the first of hopefully um, many forays into salvage. And as we finish, I have a couple things I'd like you to do before we meet again. Uh, first thing, go through and find a picture of one or two people or animals that make you smile. And this could be from a magazine, a newspaper, it could be a photograph doesn't matter um, but we will be folding it so just make sure that it's not too thick whatever it is and as you're looking for those if you see other pictures of things that you find interesting or um, funnier that just kind of speak to you set those aside as well the, the extra pages from your book you can put in a folder or envelope and then anytime you find other stuff you may want to set aside for your book you can add it to um, number two, I would like you to think of one or more quotes, and they could be, it could be a line from um, a song or poem or something you heard somebody say or a mantra, it doesn't matter, but um, things that are meaningful to you, and I want you to write them in your book for next time. And if you'd like to share any of those with me, I'd love to hear from you. You can write it in the comments section. Um, I just ask that it's appropriate for all ages. Each time we will be adding to our books together and I hope in the meantime you will add things on your own. That would be great. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until next time.